Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you uh, Fortran by just uh, teaching you some examples of CFD which are so common in CFD and in that case you will learn CFD and Fortran together. And the first video is about unacid heat conduction in one dimension using the FTCS method. First of all, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. And if this video was helpful for you, share it with your friends and like the video. Okay, uh, the first method, uh, as I told you, is about unsteady heat conduction in one dimension, which uh, here we have the equation. Uh, Okay, after using FTCS method uh, for this problem, our, uh, our discretized equation uh, will be uh, like this, uh, which I is for points and N is for time, and R uh, is uh, our uh, stands for this equation. Okay, uh, here uh, I have uh, Written, uh, I have written a problem for you, uh, which we have a bar here, and we will have um, n points. Uh, it depends on you how many uh, ha to how many points to have, and uh, we have a initial condition uh, which is two uh, twenty for uh, initial condition, and we have boundary condition. Uh, which here is it's uh, equals zero and um, the our temperature will be 100 and in each equals l our temperature will be zero and i have the equation here too and let's go to fortran and see the uh, fortran code for okay now i have moved to fortran uh, to code blocks uh, to show you the uh, fortran uh, you can uh, use uh, visual basic if i'm not mistaken but i use code blind it is easy for me uh, we have uh, first we write program and then we write a program's name i have written ftcs and then we write implicit noun and we define integers and we define reals and I have uh, written something as here uh, it is P and it is for matrix uh, it is how uh, we define a uh, matrix in Fortran and then I have written open open uh, these opens are for files uh, in Fortran it is professional and other uh, programs to use uh, files instead of uh, uh, writing here uh, i will tell you what i mean uh, in files uh, for example we uh, we read our uh, inputs uh, for example a uh, number of points uh, uh, time our uh, time step our length from a, a input file rather than writing here n equals i don't know 10 it is not professional to use it so uh, i have written i have written open then we write its name it can be 20 or 1 whatever you want and then we write file and we then we write our file name which is input for me and uh, its format can be some others like some other things um, THC, PLT, or others. And I have another file, output file, which I have um, um, write and my answers there. I, it is at the end of the code. Then uh, we read the files, we read the input parameters from a file, which is here. Uh, we have n is 10, which is number of points. We have r. Um, uh, R is so important in uh, this problem, which if our R, which is uh, which if it is above uh, zero point five, it will be unstable and it's stable for uh, below uh, zero point five. Okay, I have T. It is time, and I have delta underline T. It is time step, and I have L, which is length of our bar. Then I have format here. Uh, we should use format to read uh, the files it is professional t uh, t10 uh, t10 uh, i have read i have written this because i have written some uh, letters here in rt so it is for that and i is for integer and f is for reals 
Uh, I have delta, I have calculated here delta x. Then I have uh, calculated the number of time steps, which is now here m, right this, and uh, uh, v. And don't forget to uh, write this, uh, allocate p, uh, if you have a defined matrix, mat and matrix uh, you should write allocate then you write your matrix here and i have initial condition here then i have boundary condition in left point it is 100 and in right point is uh, zero and we write uh, in a cycle do and we write then n to i from 2 to m and now uh, here it is our equation uh, i is for time and j is for points i starts from 2 because 1 is for initial condition and j starts from 2 because uh, first point is our boundary condition and it is continuous to n minus 1 and because n is our boundary condition 2 okay after this uh, i have written our uh, equation which I showed you uh, in PowerPoint and, and there we go we calculate our uh, equation and I print the answers after uh, our calculation has been completed and then I write it in, in a, a output file uh, as I showed you there and I give them formats. So, and then we write in program and then we write our program's name. Let's run it. Okay, as you see, uh, there was no error in our uh, code and we have 10 uh, points here and we have one, two, three, four, five, six time steps here. And it is uh, great because uh, it starts from 100 to zero. Uh, it decreases as the time goes by okay and then we write FTCS here and it's been completed uh, I hope uh, this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to, to like the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel